we started looking at uh, pea replacement and whether it was a way that farmers can maintain um, production and profitability in 2009. Uh, it started after a string of poor seasons um, with low yielding years as combined with increasing fertiliser prices. The farmers were really questioning how they can afford their fertiliser budget each year. Um, so we were looking at this as, as a risk management strategy for Upper Air Peninsula and low rainfall farming systems. These trials were established in 2009 to monitor not only crop production but also soil fertility over subsequent years. Investigating uh, four treatments of, of phosphorus in this trial, we've got zero phosphorus, 10 units of phosphorus which is the district practice, 20 units of phosphorus and replacement P. To work out the, the rate of phosphorus that's needed for the replacement P strategy, we assume that three kilos of, of P is removed per tonne of grain. The two tests that we're using to monitor soil phosphorus is um, Colwell P and the DGT test. Um, Colwell P doesn't always give us a great indication of available phosphorus um, on calcareous soils that we have on the Upper Air Peninsula, whereas the DGT test um, is seeming to be a more accurate test at this stage. In 2009, the replacement phosphorus strategy gave us a, a higher gross margin. Uh, this is partly due to higher residual nutrition from, from the dry years previously and very small amount of phosphorus having to be put back into the system um, because of the low yields in 2008. In 2011, um, the gross margin was slightly reduced on district practice. Uh, this is due to the high level of phosphorus that was required to replace the previous year's um, exported nutrition um, and without the upside of of an increase in, in yield. Some downsides of this system is it can be a high cost to the, to the farm business after a high yielding year. Um, the farmers need to be prepared to take soil tests to monitor soil nutrition and um, yields can be lost if your soil, soil phosphorus levels aren't, aren't adequate. This system works well in um, paddocks where there's been a, a good level of fertiliser history and you have levels of phosphorus that are well above adequate. It works well for farmers if you have a string of dry years where your, uh, your cash flow might be reduced. Um, you only need to put in small amounts of fertiliser to, to maintain um, production.